You don't really have a penny? No, I don't think so. Oh, here, I got a dime. Oh, you this, got a dime. To salt the hat. Okay. So, here you are in front of the Monterey Post Office, and you are going to serenade people with yep, a man-made flute? I'm going to play my Native American flute and uh, see if I can generate some income. Right. So I can get something to eat. Right. And continue making flutes. There we go. Come and take a look at the flutes I have in the bag. Okay, we're going to take a look at the flutes that are in the bag. I make bamboo flutes. Check it out. They're gorgeous. I make and sell these outside. I live outside. How long have you lived outside? Uh, on and off a couple of different times throughout my life, but this time around for a couple of years because I'm getting older and harder to find work. So this well, is my work now. So you should be getting thousands of dollars for these. I, I charge 70 but I sell quite a few. I could sell more if I had a place to live because then I could, I could have a place to work on them where I don't have the elements involved. Right. It's, it's not easy to... Uh, Right now I'm putting on the bird, it's called a bird. Uh -huh. It directs the airflow over the top of the reed which is inside. This is a classic Native American flute in a pentatonic scale. And so they used to play this for? Ceremonies and rituals and things, and still do it to this day. There's the intro. That's beautiful. Thank you. This this flute it's very, collects um, lots of lots of moisture, so I have to get a yeah. I used to play I used to, I used to play clarinet, and mm -hmm. so I know like lots you of get moisture all, builds all that, up. Yeah, so moisture. I get my towel on the ready before I begin to play. I found that if I put my mouth on the side a little sideways, not as much of the spit will come out. Well, I'll get my little my little towel ready. There's all my tools for making the flutes and I got everything I need to sit down outside and make them. That's very, very cool. That's very ingenious. Where did you pick this up from? I mean, were you, was your family doing this before? So where did you, where, what, what, where was, where did the desire come from? Okay, I had a Jeep Cherokee that was taken, all my tools lost. I needed something to do with my hands in Santa Cruz, there's a lot of bamboo. I went and got a PDF file since I'm a carpenter craftsman. I got a, the instructions and cut some bamboo and started making flute. I made one just for myself to start with and it turned out so well that I started making more. Wow. And I've made probably 150 now or so. You need to get your, your stuff in shops. And then last year, I was 56, and I kind of moniker my years. I say 55, still alive, and 56 was learning new tricks. <laughs> and I wanted to disprove the theory that you can't teach an old dog new tricks. 
So I taught myself the American Indian style. I was making a bonsari, it's a Japanese style, transverse right. flute. And this is, I improved my skill set. And uh, these are beautiful, easier to play, as you can tell. Pentatonic scale, you have to leave the finger on that hole all the time. Uh -huh. And then previous holes have to be uncovered when you're coming up the scale, uh -huh. like that. Or start from the top and come down. It's amazing what what um, one person is interested in is interested in, and another person's interested in, and then other people are interested in the same things, and it's it's really fascinating to see you know like I mean I could never do, I could never do any of that I mean, but I I so appreciate it and like I said I played clarinet and, but. There is so much more love that goes into making one of these than a Yeah, I have a love affair with bamboo now. What's nice about this, these flutes, is that it's really easy to play. If you can press air out of your lungs and if you have slight finger dexterity and you get the coordination of keeping the fingers proper, people can play. Well, maybe I might have to start picking this up and maybe make some extra money. Easy to play. Here, I'll play one of these. Okay. So people can hear. It's in the key of F sharp. This one and this one. I so where did you where did you learn it. about music and stuff? Well, I I sang in the choir when I was younger. I always liked singing and and um, love music. Really love music. And oh, so that's 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 a man-made read. And taught myself how to play the flute after I started making them. This is a couple years ago. And um, over time, the American Indian flu is just, I'm, I'm attached to it. I played well, it instantly. Really... I never took any lessons or anything. I just taught myself. You can't teach yourself things. Uh -huh. People say, oh, the self-taught or, well, guess what? You can teach yourself. It's gorgeous. Yeah, I love it. Really, you should be so proud of yourself. That's really, really beautiful. Yeah, I'm proud of having the ability to, to do it and that I don't sit on my butt and not do anything. And so, and so, but we still have Despite a challenge. Despite the fact that I live in America now where I can't find affordable housing and I can't find a job that pays a decent wage or that the employer isn't a jerk. <laughs> I know, so, right? Here so, I live in America, so what are we, what are I, we supposed to do? Yeah. So we live on the street. So I make my we... own flutes, and I, and I, you know, do my best to live simply. Later on, when we have time, I will show you how I've set my gear up so I can live minimally on the planet, and and have zero impact. My green thumbprint is minus, and I'm not saying that to be prideful, but to be helpful, because it can be done. I live out of that bag and that bag. I make beautiful bamboo flutes. I live wonderfully. I'm healthy. I practice yoga. Well, you're a lot better, better person than I am, but I love your spirit. We're all good people. Yeah. You're... People say to me, oh, you think you're better than me. I go, no, I don't. I think that you are better than you. And that's where we have conflict. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're so nasty. <laughs> so vindictive and smart. <laughs> I'm fairly direct. It's important.
So if you wanted to tell people something, what would you tell them? Have fun. <laughs> Don't worry about so many things. You're funny. Play hard. You're adorable.